Hello my dear students, I am Akshay from Prodigy Educare and today we will be learning how to calculate the area of ellipse using integration, right? Okay, so I am writing here the general equation of ellipse which is uh, given by x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. Okay, now in this we will assume that your a is greater than b. Uh, what a formula we are deriving we will get the same formula for the other case but in this we are assuming that your small a is greater than small b that is your denominator of x square is greater than denominator of y square okay so in this case your ellipse will be a horizontal ellipse like this so for example i'll just uh, make a diagram here uh, this is our y axis and uh, this is the x axis i'll just simply name it x axis and y axis okay now I'm just I'll just uh, draw the ellipse. Your ellipse will look somewhat like this. It's a horizontal ellipse. Okay, fine. Now we have to calculate the area enclosed inside this ellipse. I'll just uh, mark these coordinates. So this coordinate is nothing but your a comma zero. Uh, this coordinate is a minus a comma zero, and then we have uh, zero comma b, and here we have zero comma minus b. Okay. Uh, now, as you can see, this is the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. All the areas are equal because the ellipse is symmetric across the x axis and the y axis. So what I will do is I will just simply evaluate the area in the first quadrant, area enclosed in ellipse in the first quadrant and will simply multiply it with uh, 4. Fine. So I have to calculate this area. I will just simply uh, write the procedure for how we calculate using integration. This is x, this is uh, dx. And this is the strip that we are going to integrate. Perfect. Now I'll just calculate the area enclosed. Like I'll just calculate this area. Now the area is enclosed between the curve and x-axis. So we know that this area is given by integral f of x dx. Uh, basically the limits and all. We'll see. In this, what we are doing is we are uh, writing y in terms of x. So we'll take this equation. And we'll write y in terms of x and just we'll substitute that in this formula or integral. So here I'm just taking this integral. I can write uh, y square by b square as 1 minus x square by a square. Which is nothing but your a square minus x square by a square. Now this b square will go in right hand side. What we'll get is uh, y square as uh, b square by a square into a square minus x square. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll just simply take uh, square root. I have to take square root. Uh, so from this I can say that uh, y is equal to plus or minus b by a into square root of a square minus x square. Now I'll just think this we have a plus sign and a minus sign. For one value of x, we have two values of y, one above the x-axis and one below the x-axis. The negative sign will represent the coordinates which are below, which is below, which are below the x-axis. So we'll just focus on plus sign because we need uh, this curve. We are focusing on this curve. So I'll just simply neglect the negative sign. I'll take the positive sign. Now to substitute this, this is nothing but your function of x. You have represented y as a function of x. Uh, now to substitute that in the integral. So I'll just simply write the area or the indicated area in this is given by integral. Instead of f of x, I'll write b by a into square root of a square minus x square dx. Now, as you can see here, the x is here. Uh, this coordinate is nothing but the origin where x is 0. Your x is varying from 0 to small a. So here I'll write x equal to 0 to small a. Perfect. Now we have to evaluate this integral. We have to think of evaluating the integral. Now, as you can see, this term is anyways constant. And this term, uh, it's a basically it's a standard formula. I just simply write it. Uh, I'll take b by a out of the integral sign and I'll just simply evaluate. I'll just simply uh, substitute the formula here. Uh, now integral a square square root of a square minus a square x square is given by x by 2 into square root of a square minus x square uh, plus a square by 2 into sine inverse of x by a. And here I'm just simply writing the limits which is uh, 0 to small a. Now what I have to do is I have to substitute the upper limit first. So wherever we have x, there we have to substitute small a. 
and then minus we have to substitute the lower limit. So I'm just simply substituting small n term in place of x. So this will become b by a into instead of x I'll substitute small a. So here we have small a by 2 into square root of a square minus a square plus we have uh, a square by 2 into a uh, sine inverse of a by a instead of this x I'll substitute fine. Uh, now what we'll do is we have to use this uh, lower limit. I'll just simply write minus we have to substitute this lower limit. Now think whenever I'm substituting 0 in place of x uh, this 0 is multiplied to this whole expression. So anyway this whole expression will become 0. So I'll just simply write here 0 and then when I'm substituting 0 inside this sine inverse term. So sine inverse of 0 by is nothing but sine inverse of 0. So that also will become 0. So minus 0. So anyways, all the three terms are becoming zero here. Only this one term is non-zero term. Uh, and this is nothing, this one and one will get cancelled. And we know that sine inverse of uh, one is nothing but uh, pi by two. So instead of this, I'll write pi by two. So what I'm getting, I'm getting uh, b by a into uh, a square by two into instead of sine inverse of one, I have to write uh, pi by two. Okay, now as you can see this a and this a, the square term will get cancelled and the result that we are getting is uh, pi a b by 4. So yeah, my friend, this is the answer of the integral, this integral that we have evaluated. Now from the figure, I can say that uh, this integral is nothing but this area which I have uh, shaded. But we have to calculate the entire area enclosed inside the ellipse. So what we'll do is we'll simply multiply this by 4. So I'll just simply write here the required area. I'm just writing the required area is uh, given by capital A that we just calculated into 4. So it is nothing but your pi A B by 4 into 4 is 4 and 4 will get cancelled and anyways uh, the area that we are getting is pi a B clear of simple basic using basic integration that's what we evaluated now uh, as you can see that ellipse is a generalized version of a circle so if I convert this ellipse into a circle uh, this small a and small b will become equal which will be nothing but the radius of that circle and if I substitute uh, the same values here instead of a and b will get small r if you are substituting smaller, we'll get pi r square, which is nothing but the area of circle. So yeah, our result from that point of view is also true. So I hope you understood what I have taught you today, the area of ellipse, and I hope you enjoyed the session. For more such session, you can contact us. Thank you so much for watching.